Hey everyone, I'm Megan and welcome back to DIYs by Megan. Today I'm going to be doing a review and course overall of taking photography one. Now this is the short version. This video is only going to be about five minutes in length. If you want to see my full lengthy review that's about 30 minutes long, that will be up as well. So go check that one out if you want to see all my work. I'm going to be doing a brief video here. So yeah. So before I get started, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe. I am trying to reach 100,000, which is not going to happen because we're already in February, and it's like, uh, I should have 1,000 right now? I don't even know. I'm going to edit this part out, but please do subscribe. I will. Alright, so let's go into the video. Alright, so obviously I'm making this video, so if you are considering taking photo photography one, you can learn what it is and what you're going to learn. Now, this is what we did in my school. It may be different in yours. Also, some schools may not offer for photography as an elective course. Mine did. I took the opportunity. So, yeah. So, let's talk about the very basics. So, first of all, you're going to learn how to make a pinhole camera. And essentially, what this is, is it is a real working camera. There's no... It's not complicated. All it is, is a oatmeal container there's a we decoupaged it and i went to the disney theme how you get your image is you look this up there's a pin there's a pinhole right there and the inside is black so you're going to learn how to make this and how to make prints with this it is very cool all right so the basic photography my photo binder you're going to learn what principles are and um, you're going to learn um, tools of the trade. You're going to learn the early history of photography like who William, who William Fox Talbot is and Kodak, who, um, who Talbot, no, uh, George Eastman is. You're going to learn the early history. You're going to learn what a daguerreotype is and what is a, um, camera obscure um you're gonna learn very early photography you're gonna learn how to create a photography ad for the brownie camera you're gonna learn the history you're gonna learn uh dry plate photography which you don't actually do that but that's fun you're gonna learn how the camera actually works the pinhole camera works you're going to learn how to use the chemicals in the dark room. You're actually going to go in the dark room and process your prints. So this is the very first, these are the first prints that I made actually with that camera. So you're going to make them. So once you complete your pinhole unit, you're going to learn how, you're going to learn how to take photos with your actual camera. So once you've taken your photos, you're going to learn how to process it. Um... You're going to learn everything about the changing bag, the, um, how to roll your film, everything. And you're going to learn how to use the enlarger. You're going to learn what your test strip should look like and what a test strip is. You're going to learn, uh, let's see, you're going to learn how to make a negative into a positive. And here it is, negative, positive. Let's see here. Let's see. You're going to learn how to make a photograph using the larger. Like I said, it says making a print from a 35 millimeter negative. If you're wondering what a negative is, well, these are all my test strips that I did for a quarter of a year. This is a negative. It's your film. And I keep all my film in order because I'm OCD. I like to have everything in order. This is a contact sheet. You're going to learn your contact sheets. You're going to learn everything. I'm hungry. And you're going to learn how to make your print. So I'm going to show you my very first print, which is this one. And I'm not showing any more. Well, I might show one more. This is my very first print that I ever did. And yeah. Get that back in there. 
let's see, where is my other print? I'm trying to find the one that it's like my favorite print that I did the whole year. Oh, where is it? Can't find it. Is that? No. There it is. Okay, so this is actually probably my favorite print that I ever did. And this is the one print of the whole year I got hundred off. So yeah. So you're gonna learn how to make a print, you're gonna how to turn in something from your negative into something like this. And I will let you know, doing photography is not easy. Um the process, like doing the chemicals, it can be confusing. You're gonna also learn how to dodge and burn, which is basically dodging is um where you lighten an area and burning is where you make an area darker. So I can make this um I could burn this and make this dark section, or I could dodge this and make that a lighter section. So yeah, so that's basically what that is. So yeah, so you're gonna learn everything about your principles, you're gonna learn what portraits are, that's pretty much it. All right, you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn the basics of what fur free is. Like I said, this is a very quick video, by the way. So yeah, yeah. So, um, so that's what you're gonna learn basically and if you have any questions feel free to ask I'll do a QA and a video I know this isn't the type of video that I usually do but I felt like it's something that I wanted to do and share my experience with um, my experience at photo one was actually very good I actually had a great experience doing photography one so I wanted to do photography two um, however it depends on the type of teacher that you get I was very lucky I have an amazing teacher shout out to Miss Burnash I love her she is the best teacher ever and um we do a lot of fun stuff in photography we did um this year we went on a field trip and we're learning how to hand tint so yeah um if you're considering it one of the cons is it is expensive you're gonna have to buy a 35 millimeter camera and when you get to photo two you're gonna have to buy a digital slr but that is not required unless your school says so you're also gonna have to pay for a photo paper but a paper is not cheap um and I'm being completely honest here. Um, this is an honest review. Um, it's not, but papers, not cheap. Um, you're gonna have to buy filters, maybe. Depends on what your teacher says. You're gonna have to um, buy film. And your school may sell it. My school sells it for $3, so it's $3 a assignment. You're gonna have to pay a overall class fee, which is about $40. Um, well, my school is. Um, and yeah. So those are like all your fees. And you're going to have fees during the year just for paper. If you're smart, you're going to make test strips. Now me, there was a section where I wasn't smart and I just did everything on photo paper. I went through my photo paper so quick. It was not funny. And that's wasting money. You're just throwing money away. It's like me taking dollar bills right now and throwing them out the window. It's, do you, if you make test strips got it do not sit there and waste your photo paper unless if you're someone that can go out and I'm not hating on those people i'm just like if you go out and spend oh, i don't know two hundred dollars on photo paper go ahead waste your paper but you like me make test strips they're so much easier and cheaper than wasting your um print or paper so yeah so that's what i would say about that um, um, even though the course is not relatively cheap, it is, um, a lot of fun. It's very creative. If you're a creative person like me, like this year my electives are, um, 3D art and photo two. So that's what those are. Very creative courses. It's a very creative class overall. So, yeah. So I, so, um, if you're definitely concerned taking it, not even for a career, you just want to do it for fun, take it. You'll love it. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. This video is longer than what I want it to be. Okay, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. And also subscribe. If you'd like me to make a video on how to make this pen on camera, I will do that. Just comment down below or comment. And follow me on all my social media. I will not be making this camera unless I get, unless I get requests for it because um, this does take a while to make. So, go ahead and I will see you next week.
Bye.